Good evening and welcome to Robinson Stadium on the campus of Watertown High School in Watertown, Tennessee for Huff and Puff Trucking football game night on DTC Sports. Tom Duggan for DTC alongside the coach Chris Vance getting set for a big Region 4-2A showdown tonight. The Watertown Purple Tigers hosting the Eagles of Eagleville. Coach, we had a chance to see Watertown back in week one against Gordonsville over at Turney Ford Field and certainly... We watched them play in the preseason, a couple of scrimmages. This has been a good-looking team from the onset. Tom, this is really what you expect from a team in 2015 that had a lot of sophomores and juniors, and it's kind of what you expect with the success that they had last year. Let's take a look at tonight's tale of the tape. As we mentioned, Watertown is 5-0, and Eagleville 2-2. Two two. Now, Eagleville did have one game canceled back in week two due to the weather, a game with Clarksville Academy non-region. As we head down to the sideline and J.R. Smith, now, J.R., we talk about the playoffs, of course, coming up. It's still a few weeks weeks down the road, but teams are starting to look ahead and project where they may go in the postseason. Uh, Tom, this is a very key game tonight. I'm not sure if Watertown circled this one on the schedule or not, but it's definitely not a game that they should overlook. Welcome to the Coach's Corner. And this week, we've selected a play from the Gordonsville-Watertown game. Now, what you'll see on the film is that Gordonsville gives you two receivers on either side. They give you the quarterback with the back. Watertown moving on their first drive in Eagleville territory. Price fakes the handoff, tipped, and it's going to be intercepted. Picked off at the 20-yard line. Wilkins was there to snag it out of the air, and if by my statistics, if they're correct, that's going to be the first INT thrown this year by Seth Price. It's like the jet sweep or the bubble screen. If you go to that play too many times too early consecutively, you're just allowing the defense to kind of catch up on how to play that. I formation, Cobb under center on this first down play from the 25-yard line. And it's a little play action, handoff to Stout. Trouble, ball is loose, ball is loose, and Watertown's going to have it. No, they're not. Yes, they are. Touchdown, Purple Tigers. Brady Swan fell upon it, I believe, initially. It looked like Jesse Cooper, 71, was trying to pick it up and had it. Then he coughed it up, and then it rolls into the end zone. We'll take a look here. Cobb just dropped it right there. He just dropped it. There's big 71. He gets his big paws around it. He's tackled. Now, he might have been down, Coach, before did the ground cause the fumble. There's no review, of course. And it appears this will be ruled a touchdown. I'm here with Vontae Bates. Tonight's DTC player of the game. Uh, Vontae, you had two touchdowns tonight. You had some big hits. You were great on special teams. You faced a lot of adversity tonight. Uh, tell me what happened when you came out in that third quarter. How were you able to get over the hump and get that win? Well, our line was slacking in the first half, and then Coach Webster and Coach Hackett yelled at them, and then they, started, they stepped it up, and they played big tonight. 